Hello everyone, my name is Arvind Krishnan and I work for Go Engineer as a simulation technical support engineer. Today we're going to look at how to combine multiple loading case scenarios um, where the fixtures and the other restraints are the same. Um, it, it's possible that um, we design a part for um, multiple different loading conditions, but what if two of them happen at the same time? So that's what we're going to try and look at today. So I've already defined three static studies. Um, the first one has an axial loading with one end fixed. Um, there's a force of 100,000 newtons and I've already solved it. Similarly, here's another case where there's a force downwards in the positive y direction and I have solved this as well. And the third case is a temperature loading where I have a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius with the temperature at zero strain or room temperature being 25 degrees Celsius. Note that in all three I have this end fixed, my material is alloy steel, and I have solved all of them. Now I'm going to create a new study, and I'm going to select pressure vessel design. This is where this is most often used, um, and this module is available in Simulation Professional. So all you got to do is right click on setup, define the edit. You have two options here, one is linear combination which just adds the different loading conditions or you have SRSS which is basically it takes the square of the loading condition and then adds them all up and then takes the square root. We're going to select linear combination and I'm going to have my three conditions. The factor is if you want to multiply or rather double the temperature load or the loading condition that's what the factor is. I'm going to leave it as one and hit the green check mark and just run it. If you notice it ran really quick and here's the von Mises combination of all three of them. Just a couple of quick notes about using this. Um, you're going to make sure that only the loads vary. The materials, restraints and other contact conditions need to be the same. The other thing is the solution is valid only if the results are in the linear range. Um, you need to stay away from using large displacement or using any no penetration. So you have to have your um, displacement values be relatively small. Um, and the other thing is the pressure vessel design module does not solve anything new. It just takes the existing results and combines them um, to give you one new equivalent result. 